and is joining us right now is Bernard Lumi, his uh, VP's CEO. Good morning to you. Uh, so much to talk to you about. I think the, the biggest uh, thing I wanted to talk to you about is what, what feels like a shift uh, both by BP itself but in the industry in terms of where you're investing in the future and just all of the blowback that we've seen over these enormous profits. Andrew, good morning. Thanks for uh, having me on. Um, just a couple of things I'd say on, on the results and the announcement this morning. Um, first and foremost, I think the company is running well. We had our strongest operations in history. We've had our lowest cost in uh, 16 years. Basically, things are going well. The company is running well. Second thing we announced, uh, we're leaning into our strategy, up to $8 billion more into the energy transition, Andrew, up to $8 billion more uh, into today's energy system, into oil and gas. And thirdly, we are uh, rewarding the shareholders, millions of people who depend on the shares in BP, with a 10% increase in dividend and uh, a $2.75 billion uh, buyback. So that's a little bit of the story of what right. we're up to uh, no, today. No, look, I mean, it's a remarkable thing to behold, which is to say that your company and, and frankly, your rivals uh, have, have done remarkably during this, this period of time. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like the public backlash uh, about that success, which you, in a normal world, would be quite proud of, uh, is now, I don't want to say coming back to bite you, but is creating this, uh, maybe it should be described as a messaging problem, maybe it's something else. What do you make of that? Look, um, it's a difficult time in in, uh, in all parts of the world. It's difficult here for people in the UK with uh, cost of living crisis, energy crisis. It's difficult in Europe. It's difficult in parts of the United States. Our job as a company, uh, Andrew, is to do uh, three things. Number one, we have to invest. Number two, we have to pay our taxes. And number three, we have to return, give returns to the shareholders who own BP. Today, we announced on each of those things the following. In terms of investing, we're investing more. In fact, we invested more in 22 than we did in 21. Today, we're announcing up to 8 billion more in the transition, 8 billion more in oil and gas. And I would add that over 50% of our investment went into America in 2022. Secondly, on taxes, we had our highest tax bill in history. In 2022, we paid $15 billion in taxes uh, last year. Um, that's important. And then thirdly, as I said earlier, on shareholder distributions. I think we now have sector-leading distributions when you combine dividends and buybacks. And uh, that's important that we do that as well. So that's how we see, we see our role. And today, it is about leaning into that role. Let me ask you about the role, because the other piece of this is in terms of, in terms of the investments that you're planning to make how you're thinking about those investments relative to classic or more traditional fossil fuels versus what you described as transition or clean tech. Um, you have leaned over the last several years um, mightily towards the transition piece of it. And I still think that's obviously a piece of it, but it seems like maybe you're leaning a little back on that component part. We're actually leaning further in, and, and just to give you the numbers, we put over 3% of our capital in 2019 went into what we call our transition growth engines. By three years later, that number was over 30%. Um, and that was because, in part, of a large acquisition that we did in the United States of a company called Arkea, which captures natural gas or methane from um, uh, landfill sites, makes sure it doesn't get into the atmosphere, doesn't damage the atmosphere, and then we process it and burn it. And when we burn it, it's got lower emissions. This is a high-returning business. This is over 15% rate of return. So we see great opportunity for our investors in the transition. We see strong returns in many parts of the transition. And that's why today we're saying we're going to put more money into that. But at the same time, we need to take care of today's energy system. The transition needs to be an orderly one. And to have it be orderly, we need continued investment. And today, with energy security at a premium, energy affordability at a premium, we need to invest in that system also. Right. And we're putting up to $8 billion more into that, more in the Gulf of Mexico, Andrew, more in the Permian Basin, more in the Haynesville. So, so it's in, an and conversation, right. not an or conversation.